fat guy in a little coat. <laughs> I know you're gonna dig this. Get, get, get funky with me. Today's Thursday, right? Yes, today's Thursday. I know, it's hard to keep track, isn't it? It really is, it feels like Friday. It does feel like a Friday. That's the conversation they were just having. <sighs> one's got a jacket tied around, the other one's got <sighs> on her neck, on her back or whatever, wearing half on. Get in sync, ladies. Come on. It's so hot. What's going on, everybody? How are you doing today? So here I am in Toronto, Ontario, Canada, my hometown. Toronto doubles as every city and every movie you've ever seen. Los Angeles movies, New York movies, it's supposed to take place in Chicago, Baltimore, you name it. Toronto doubles as it. And it doubled in Tommy Boy at Sandusky, Ohio. Now this opening scene of Tommy Boy, if you haven't seen Tommy Boy, it stars Chris Farley, David Spade. <sighs> Chris Farley, I love Chris Farley. I've done a lot of videos on Chris Farley. He's one of my favorites of all time. And David Spade is actually my best friend. Look. Okay, so we took a picture of us out of a comedy club. It doesn't make us best friends, but uh, you know, he's not returned my 1,000 calls or emails or texts or smoke signals, but that's okay. He will one day. So here I am on the University of Toronto campus, and this doubles as Marquette University, which is the actual name of the university that Chris Farley went to in real life. Did you know that? There you go. And at the beginning of the movie, Chris, well, Chris Farley has to, he's late for class, so he's running across the campus trying to get to class on time. It sets up his character as just being a bit of a doofus, you know, he runs into things. <sighs> can't, uh, can't quite get his life together. Then he has to go back to Sandusky, Ohio, take over his father's uh, uh, auto parts. Yeah, auto parts, Callahan auto parts. Oh my goodness. Okay, he has to take over his father, because his father is gonna give him, you know, an office and then start working for the company after seven years in college. You ever heard of somebody take seven years of college? Yeah, they're called doctors. Anyway. So then the father drops dead on his wedding day. So Chris Farley has to try to save the company. So him and David Spade go on a cross, well not cross country. They go to like Midwest states trying to sell brake pads. Sounds like a weird plot. Sounds like a boring plot. It's a classic. It's a great movie. It's Tommy Boy. It's Chris Farley. And look right here. He runs across right here. I almost backed up into that bush. And look up. He looks up at that clock. And he realizes he's really, really late. So then he's trying to get to class, right? But he gets to class and the doors are locked. He's late. Or are they locked? Why don't we go find that classroom? Unfortunately, I can't get inside due to COVID and it is social distancing. So we're all keeping our, well, not all of us are keeping our distance. Hey, dude, respect. No, 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 no. Okay, this has turned into a different kind of film. Okay, you, you're cool. You're a bit of a dick. So, he was running through the classes in this building. He was running through, like, uh, when he runs through past the guy, it's behind there, and I can't get down in there, sadly. But, here's where it was, right here, all done here. There's this Hart House Circle in Toronto, the University of Toronto campus. Let's go show you that classroom. Hey, keep your distance, socially. And, of course, it's locked up. I can't get in because of COVID. This is really ruining. This is really stressing my vibe, man. But I'm going to show you a doorway that looks like the doorway, but it's in here. It's right on the other side, right around. It's right around there. I'm going to show you what one, one of those doorways looks like. Don't worry. I got some specific places, like I just said, coming up. Oh, want to see inside of tea? There you go. That's exciting. Clean your windows. I'm getting angry. George is getting angry. Yeah, so I'll show you one of the other doors that looks like it. Where he's yanking on it, then he sits down. Son of a! Because he can't get in. He sits down. He's very upset. But of course, the girl just opens the latch properly. And Chris, you again? Chris Farley 
finally realized, oh, that's how you get in. Right around here. This is one of the doorways. It's not the doorway. It's on the other side. This is really annoying. So as you can see, that's what uh, the doorways look like. But this is not the same doorway. It's missing the columns. The windows aren't in the same position. That's annoying. Excuse me. Hello. I'm looking for a specific part. Have you ever seen Tommy, boy? Chris Farp, can you? Sir. Okay, you must be. Must be the left ear. Try the right ear. Chris Farley, Tommy boy. He filmed it here. He's running across the can. Are you a. I shall respect you while you work. I'm sorry to disturb you. But sandals? Come on. And if you're wondering, that is actually Dr. Norman Bethune, who is a visionary in the medical field and did a lot of healthcare work in China. Right there. That's who he is. But he's not very helpful right now. That's Queen's Park. That's where all the legislative stuff takes place in Ontario. I don't have time for that. I, I can't get into that right now. Yes, point, lady, point. All right, we're going to another location for Tom Boy. I give up for the University of Toronto to match up the exact shots. I gotta show you some cool stuff though, don't worry. I gotta travel far, gotta go further downtown than an hour north. I got this. Something cool for Tommy Boy coming right up. Why am I talking like this commercial? Well, there is commercial, I guess there's ads, but I'm not like this commercial coming up right now. Introducing Poo Trap, an amazing new innovation that eliminates the need of picking up after your dog. Poo Trap is a unique new product that fits any size dog without any hassles, and your pets will love it too. Yeah, there you go. All right, here we are where they filmed all the scenes for Callahan Auto Parts. Right here. How do we know that? Well, I've known that for a long time because I live in Toronto. But this is a dead giveaway because this is seen often in the film. Of course, it doesn't say Gooderham and Wartz Limited. It says Callahan Auto Parts. And it's filmed from the opposite angle. Let me show you. Right from this angle. Isn't that cool? So if you line it up for the movie, the uh, loading dock would have been right here. And it's all changed. But you can still see that building in the background with that distinct uh, chimney. And that building as well. Yeah, this was Callahan Auto Parts. This is a huge, this is called the Distillery District of Toronto. And it's usually packed, packed with people. Right around here, oh, what, are, what are you? There's usually like this giant light display at Christmas. I don't know what it is. I forget. It's like an elephant or something. No, the Christmas elephant? That doesn't make any sense. I don't know. My friend, best friend lived in that building for a long time. So I was here all the time. It's a giant light display, but there's something specific about it. Is it like a giant Christmas dinosaurs? I can't remember. Shot lasers or... I have pictures or video of it somewhere. But it's not where I'm here. So yeah, the loading dock would have been right here. And this was Callahan Auto Parts. Oh, and at the end of the film, when he thinks he's lost it all, he walks back this way through the distillery district. Very dejectedly, dejectedly, very sad. You see all this in the background. We don't want Chris Farley sad. We like Chris Farley happy. Yeah, we do. All right, so what I'm gonna do right now is take you all the way north, about an hour, to show you where they shot a pivotal scene because when Tommy had saved the company, him and David Spade and Richard have to get on the road and sell those brake pads. So they have to, well, get in the car and drive. And they stop at a certain spot and something happens. And I'm gonna take you to that spot right now, that exact spot. Let's go. So here we are in Schaumburg, Ontario. Schaumburg. And this is it. This is the main drag. This is a small, small town. This is the main drag right here. Why am I in Schaumburg though? Well, let me tell you why. Because here, right behind me, this was the gas station where they stop for gas and directions to Davenport. David Spade goes right in there. Chris Farley tries to fill up the pumps right here. 
and he realizes he doesn't have enough slack, so he has to drive up a little more. Boom, car door bends backwards. He can't bend it back. He screws it up right here. Now, as you can see, it looks somewhat the same. It's now like some sort of car, an Audi dealership. If you're an Indy, I'm Audi. If you're not an Indy, I'm Audi. It's an M&M, it doesn't matter. Uh, looks like there would've been gas pumps here and here. I don't know for sure. But yeah, you see this stairwell very prominently in the background. You can see that church. And I believe you see that building. All here in Schaumburg, Ontario. So David Spade, when he's in there asking for directions to Davenport, the guy keeps saying, get a new map, realizes he's in the wrong state. And he says, how much do I owe you for the gas? Guy says, you haven't pumped any yet. He's like, what? Come on. So then he comes out and asks Chris Farley, why? Why did you not fill it up? And Chris Farley says, we've been facing this way. They were all out, only had diesel. On to the next gas station, right here. And then David Spade, right about here, sees a little scratch on his door and tries to fix it and pulls the whole door right off. Chris Farley says, what did you do? Something to that effect. But yeah, right here, this gas station in Schaumburg, Ontario. If you're driving through Schaumburg, look for this. It'll take you 30 seconds to find it, but you have to find it. Uh, this is a difficult location to find. It took me a long time to figure out where this was filmed, but you persevere. If you just put your best foot forward like Tommy did, you'll find it. You'll find it. Okay, where's Moron? Okay, Moron's here, so McKee's Sport. All right. See the stairs? There they are. Oh, should I go up them? They don't go up them in the movie, so I don't have to go up them now. On to the next location from the greatest 90s movie ever made, Titanic, Shawshank. Tommy Boy. Let's go. That's the Dominion Public Building in Toronto. Oh, look, the CN Tower. That's how you know we're in Toronto. Because you see that everywhere you go. Kinda. Sometimes it's blocked. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So the film, the climax, is supposed to take place in Chicago. So they show the Chicago skyline, and then they cut to this street right here, which is downtown Toronto. And that flat iron building, very famous. Very, very famous. Why are you looking at me? Very famous. You have a shot of some cars coming right down here. To where Chris Farley and David Spade are sitting on a bench right here. So they're sitting trying to figure out what to do next. Chris Farley has an idea. How, an idea on how to get his father's company back because they've lost it all. And they feel like there's nothing else they can do. And they're sitting right here on a bench discussing it. You see all this in the background. As you can see, there is no bench, but this all remains. I don't think I've ever sat here before. That's Union Station. Like I said, uh, Dominion Public Building. Yeah, Meridian Hall, which used to be Roy Thompson Hall, which used to be Sugar Field Stadium. I don't know what the hell it was called. Bloomington, so I, Rosebud Arena, it was like, I forget what it was called. I saw REM there though, they were awesome. So now I am sitting here. So this is where the climax of the film takes place, right behind me. And Tommy Boy figures it out. He figures out how to get his father's company back. Rob Lowe ends up going to jail. Bo Derek goes off with Dan Aykroyd's character. And Tommy Boy takes over the company. That's it. That's it. Is it The Godfather? No. Is it good, fellas? Nah. Is it Casino? Eh. No. It's Tommy Boy. And it's hilarious. You should watch it if you haven't seen it. Have I explained the plot? I don't know. I can't remember. It's so hot. I'm going to have a heat stroke. A heat stroke? Heat stroke. I've already started. It's our, I'm already in the throes. All right. Peace. Out. Do you validate?